Before the bell, Wall Street closing lower on Friday, pressured by shares in telecommunications, food and beverage and tobacco, and the food and staples retailing sectors. On the economic data front, non-farm payrolls rising to 280,000 in May from 223,000 in April, while the unemployment rate 5.5% in May from 5.4% in April. Decliners just beating out advancers, 50% of S&P 500 constituents trading lower Friday. Now after the market closed, GE concluding a deal to sell its private equity led unit to the Canada Pension Plan Investment Board, this reported by Reuters, citing a source familiar with the matter. Monsanto saying it has proposed to Syngenta a new $2 billion reverse breakup in case the company cannot obtain necessary global regulatory approvals for acquiring, Syge for acquiring Syngenta. And Netflix announcing plans to expand its internet TV services to Italy and Portugal later this year. And Apple may introduce its Apple Pay mobile system to Britain this summer. This according to a report from The Telegraph. Now, keeping overseas in Asia, the markets mixed today. The Nikkei down 0.02%, the Hang Seng up 0.21%, while South Korea's coast be in the red 0.14%. European markets are in the red, and U.S. futures calling for a soft opening. And expected today out of the U.S. on the earnings front, H&R Block fourth quarter EPS seen at $2.68 a share. While regarding the trend on indices, Trading Central says the S&P 500 capped by a declining trend line. Short positions below 2103 are favored with targets at 2079 and 2070 in extension. Meanwhile, the Nasdaq, that's bearish, favoring short positions below 4508. And the Dow Jones bearish as well, favoring short positions below 17,960.